President Buhari visited Ibenjuleki to commission the deep sea port. And you already know what this one means, which means all the property in Ibenjuleki will gain more appreciation. Activities have also started in Ibenjuleki. Alright, so this DC port is directly opposite Dangote refinery. Now, imagine people that have the property around this axis for maybe commercial activities and all that, or anywhere around the Bejuleki is going to be smiling now. That is those smart investors that bought before this time. But meanwhile, I was not fiscally present, Arise News was there, so I'm going to allow you to watch this video now to see how the whole thing plays out. As this, this port have been commissioned, which means commercial activities have kickstart. So if you need a property very close to the road for a warehouse and other activities, just let me know. So let me allow you to watch this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be expecting your call for a business deal. Thank you very much, Rita Collins. I'm the one that gives you the very best real estate investment. And I also keep you updated on the happenings around where you invested your money. So this is one of the reasons why you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Enjoy the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. You are watching a live feed of the Lekki Deep Sea Port here in Lagos. The port is set to be opened in a ceremony with the President of the Federal Republic, Mohamedou Buhari, arriving just moments ago. The first commercial vessel docked at the port yesterday in a welcome sign of its function. And it's slated to make it much easier to import and, and export goods from Nigeria's Governor largest city. Lagos State, our very own Mr. Salabu, the incident commander of Lagos State when it comes to health, Mr. Babajide Olushala Sawolu. And we have all the governors here present. This is welcoming Mr. President to the official commissioning of the Lekki Deep Sea Port. The first of its kind, an epic moment, and of course a landmark, landmark achievement by the Babajide Ulushalasan Ulu led administration under the themes agenda. We are looking at several governors joining the President of the Federal Republic. Standing right there, front and centre. Once again, we we'll welcome Mr. President, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to the official commissioning. The President is joined there by the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sanwolu. The President and Governor of Lagos State as well are joined by the Governor of Ogun State. In what is no doubt a very proud moment for the Governor of Lagos State and the President of the Federal Republic, the unveiling and commissioning of this major piece of infrastructure here in Lagos. The port is the deepest seaport here in Nigeria. And in what was a major piece of infrastructure. I'm sure the president is very glad to see it commissioned during the final months of his tenure. It was the official commissioning of the biggest deep sea port in the whole of sub-Saharan Africa, the Lekki deep sea port here in Ibejuleki, Lagos. This magnificent infrastructure um, has been a combination of very many years of tireless work by a team that have agreed to work together. Um, the team is led by NEPSA first approving that this place should be um, designated as a free trade zone um, by your regulator, NEPSA. Also by MPA, who also approved the concept of this project. Then, by the team of financiers led by the Tolerant Group is a Nigerian Singaporean consortium. And like we've mentioned to you, they've been in the country for several, several decades. With working with them are the China Rabo from China, 
who are the leading financial partner onto this project. And of course, Lagos State Government, who sits as also the chair of this project. The operator for this project is one of the biggest in the world, CMA from France. And so, Mr. President, you can see that it's been a total combination of um, federal government, Lagos State, and the private sector. And we're happy that this is happening in your time because it all started within your time and it's been completed within your time as well. We're indeed excited that um, the size of the vessels that will be coming in here um, could be up to four times um, the size of vessels that are currently built at both Tinkan and Apapa Port. So it's a big, big, massive infrastructure. And we're indeed excited that in your own time, um, something fresh has been birthed into this country is going to generate thousands and thousands of jobs directly and thousands, hundreds of thousands of jobs indirectly in the entire ecosystem. And so this is your project and we're excited um, with all of our partners, um, the Chinese ambassador, the French ambassador, the Singaporeans and our various agencies and, and regulators have worked tirelessly to bring about the completion of the, and of course, to thank the locals, the citizens and the residents in the Berjuleki for being um, um, forward looking and understanding that this is real investment that has come to their corridor. Your Excellency, we want to thank you again. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm very happy today. It's a special day for Niger and China. First, thank you, President. You sent the Chinese President for the happy Chinese Lunar New Year. Congratulatory letters. I want to take this opportunity to convey his greeting to you and wish you all the best in the Chinese Lunar New Year. This is the second day of Chinese Happy New Year. Lunar New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I want to say very, very few words. First, really, this is engine of the economy, not only for Governor Lagos and also for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And second, really, this is the equity of investment. Mr. President, this is not loan, this is not borrowing, this is investment. We need not to consider about how can we repay the money back. We will collect revenue taxes from this pro project. And third E is very important. I think this is a very good example. Lagos, Nigeria has set a very good example to do the four countries, five parties. So that means we have 40 nationals in this project. I salute and congratulate this kind of business model. I hope that we can continue, not only in Lagos, Mr. Governor. I hope that we can do all things in the whole Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you President. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, sir, we're very grateful for sparing your time. I decided to save our speech for tonight's banquet so that I can use the opportunity to give you the details of the port, how it was conceived, how long it took, and why we are commissioning it today. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for finding the time to come to Thank you, sir. Our ICE correspondents on the ground there are joined by the President of the Federal Republic, Mohamedou Buhari, who's there in short, you can see. The port will no doubt be remembered as a symbol of Mr. Buhari's Kenya over the past eight years or so. It's taken many years of construction, uh, but is now set to begin operations. It costs approximately 1.5 billion US dollars to construct. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see the um, commissioning and the unveiling of the plaque of the Lekki Deep Sea Port by Mr. President the company of the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Bajidi Olushalasan, and other state governors, as we mark another epic moment and a, mark a giant stride in the uh, administration of the Bajidi Olushalasan led administration on the things agenda. This is the first of its kind in sub Sahara and a major. Um, milestone, not only for Lagos, but for Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President has unveiled in his commission the Lekki Deep Seaport. 
The President was joined by, amongst others, the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babaji de San Wolu, as well as the French and Chinese ambassadors in what is truly an international event. Of course, the operator of the port is CMA, a French company, and it's expected that this port will greatly revolutionize the way in which goods are brought into and out of Nigeria's largest city, Lagos. For reference, vessels four times the size of those that can dock in Apapa can now use the Leki Deep Sea port that the President of the Federal Republic, Mohamedou Buhari, has just commissioned moments ago. The President is in Lagos State for a two-day working visit. He's unveiling several projects, including the Leki Deep Sea Port, where we are now with Arise Correspondents on the ground here in Lagos but also the Imota rice mill, amongst others. We're expecting tomorrow that some major roads within the city are set to be closed to facilitate the president's movement, including roads in Victoria Island, Marina and Lagos Island. The authorities here in Lagos State have given us advance warning of those closures that will facilitate the president's smooth movement through Nigeria's largest city. Thank you. So once again, you can see the difference between the type of range you see in the other parts of Lagos. That you see here with this crane here. You can also notice the speed of this charge, and we are still eventually being careful. Much slower than you. Uh, you can see there we're getting a demonstration of the Lekki Deep Sea Port in action. Containers being taken off a ship there. Just yesterday, the first commercial vessel docked at the port, which allayed if there were any questions about the functioning of this first in class type of port, we see it working here and now. It costs approximately $1.5 billion to construct this massive, massive project. Now these type of cranes are possible of uh, lifting uh, 25 to 30 containers per It's not only the size of the port that will facilitate the import and export of goods and service of goods, excuse me, but also the fact that it is the first fully automated port here in Nigeria. The port is constructed to facilitate the import and export of all sorts of goods. There's a container terminal, a liquid terminal, as well as a dry bulk terminal. You're looking at that first commercial vessel there that is docked at the Lekki Deep Sea Port. As a world-class facility that's constructed here in Lagos, it's hoped that the port will facilitate greater international trade through a variety of different ways. Not only can it facilitate imports and exports from international ships like we're seeing right there before our eyes, but it's also hoped that the port will be used for Nigeria's or by Nigeria's 
West African neighbours, such as Chad, Mali, Niger and Cameroon, who can benefit from this first-in-class infrastructure project being commissioned today. Thank you very much. I will also take this opportunity to ask the Managing Director of NEPSA that has been here from the start and been a really, really staunch supporter of this project uh, just to give us a speech there. Okay, thank you very much. I think I need to put everything in perspective. Um, this board is uh, one and a half times the size of Apapa and Tinka and um, it will be um, have an annual capacity of about 1.6 million containers and uh, scalable to 6 million containers annually in the future. Uh, this um, investment in infrastructure that we have seen... Now it's very, very busy there on the ground in Lekki. So just to reiterate comments made by a representative from the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority, or NEPSA, that the port there is one and a half times the size of the Apapa port here in Lagos. This is going to be the new hub, logistics hub, for this part of Africa and the world. Um, this is indeed um, a success story. This project was done in four years, inclusive of the years of COVID, and it's going to be a case study in many universities how this was done in four years. Uh, we need to give kudos to the leadership and to the project team. Uh, one thing that's going to happen here for the investors is that we at NEBSA, we are promising you that the ease of doing business will be entrenched there. We are going to ensure that only the agencies that are expected to work here work. It's not just going to be um, a, a load of different people um, coming here to um, elongate the processes that we want shortened. Uh, we are going to protect your investment, we are sure of that, and um, we are lucky to have this kind of project in Nigeria. Nigeria works. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, last but not least, I want to ask Mr. Dine Jalati, CEO of Tolaram Group uh, Nigeria, to also say a couple of few words. Mr. Dine Jalati has been instrumental in providing support to all stakeholders in lobbying for this project in connecting people, believing in this project, bringing all stakeholders together as well. So we want to extend our deepest gratitude for all that you have done to make this project come true today. And we would just request a few words, sir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dendrik. So on behalf of Tolaram and Lagos Free Zone, I congratulate everyone involved with Lakey Deep Sea Port Project that today we have achieved a major milestone of commissioning by Mr. President, uh, Mr. Muhammadu Buhari. Now this milestone, is so important for us because it catalyzes the economic development at Lagos Free Zone and we have always believed that Lake Port and Lagos Free Zone can work together to create an ecosystem which is unparalleled in Nigeria which can really unleash the economic potential, the true economic potential of Nigeria and catapult it into the big league. And we thank all the government agencies, the federal government, state government and various uh, parastatals involved in this project and wholeheartedly thank them for supporting us during this entire journey. And on, on this note, I wish CMSC GM and Lakey Freeport Terminal, who are the operators of this terminal, a good luck. And they, they really you know, uh, achieve true potential of this great infrastructure which has been delivered today. Thank you very much. Absolutely. The governor of Lagos State, Mr. Governor. our very own Mr. Sellable, Mr. Babajide Olushala Samolu. Please, can we wave and say welcome to Mr. Please President? Acknowledge our very, very special guest of honor, Mr. President. I, I believe he deserves a better round of applause. He has come a long way to be with us this afternoon. I know we've been waiting, but we are happy to have him. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of His Excellency, Mr. President, it's been a long, long, long day for him, but he appreciates each and every one of you for being patient. This is an important project for him, and he has done the commissioning. So on his behalf, I want to thank all of you, especially all our national rulers, our KBACs, captains of industry, all of our partners that have traveled far and wide to be here. 
He loves all of you. That's why he had said he will come in and do a presidential wave for all of you. Thank you all very much for coming, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Gavno. We appreciate the visit of Mr. President. He has officially commissioned the Lekki Deep Seaport, and um, he has ensured that um, all dignitaries get the presidential wave.